today we're going to show, uh, this is a Jost fifth wheel testing tool. It's a flat plate with a kingpin built into it. Today we're going to go through the adjustment procedure using this tool. Start off by having the fifth wheel in the fully open position. The jaw is in the wide open position, the handle's all the way out. Put the tool up in there. The hook hooks onto the front. The lever on the front, you saw the leverage action, that made it quite easy to pull the tool into the fifth wheel without any problems at all. What we'll do, because it's a greaseless fifth wheel, we just have to bring the tool around so it sits up off the steel and sits up on the non-metallic plates. So it's sitting up there in three positions. That ensures that our kingpin's nice and square within the fifth wheel. And at this point, we can now do an adjustment and we'll adjust the fifth wheel to suit that new kingpin. Once you've got your fifth wheel testing tool up inside the fifth wheel, it's sitting nice and level, which ensures your kingpin is square within the jaw. You're able to then carry out the fifth wheel adjustment. This is done quite easily with the use of two 24 mil spanners. We undo the lock nut on the adjuster screw, then wind the adjuster screw outwards. We can wind that out till it comes loose. What that's done, that's allowed our lock bar to come all the way in. So we've now got that lock bar tight in behind the lock jaw, so at the moment it's actually over tight. The next part of the adjustment procedure is to wind the adjuster screw back in until you feel the adjuster screw go tight, and that tells us that our adjuster screw is now come in contact again with the end of our lock bar. From that position, we wind the adjuster screw in a further one and a half turns. one and a half turns. And then by holding the adjuster screw with one spanner, we do up the lock nut with the other spanner. And that's the adjustment procedure done. The check and adjustment of the fifth wheel can be done generally when you're servicing the truck. It's a pretty good time. This tool is nice and easy to pull into the fifth wheel. You can quickly check, do your adjustment, and then you know that the fifth wheel's adjusted up correctly to suit a brand new King King. What we're showing today is a jaw checking tool. It's a tool that we've had made up. It's dimensioned at each end to suit the maximum wear on the JSK36, JSK37 jaw. The idea is that if the gauge slips over the jaw, then the jaw's worn out. So again, it's basically a no-go gauge, very similar to the kingpin gauge that we saw. In this particular case, we're dealing with the JSK37 series turntable. So if we use the JSK37 end of the tool, push the jaw forward. If that tool won't slide onto the jaw, then that tells us that the jaw is still okay. For any further information, anything that you haven't seen here today, uh, we do have a website. It's www.jostaustralia.com.au. So please feel free to have a look at the website. You'll find some more useful information on there as well.